Albert Camus has incredibly profound insights into the human condition, which unfolds a philosophy that is deeply rooted in existentialism, with a focus on the absurdism that is prominent in existence. His philosophical inquiries are better known in his major works, such as The Myth of Sisyphus, The Plague, The Rebel, The Strange, and The Fall, a lot of theirs, and these novels target human consciousness, morality, and rebellion against the backdrop of a universe that is, of course, indifferent. At the core of Camus' philosophy lies the concept of the absurd, which he very well explains in The Myth of Sisyphus. And The Myth of Sisyphus is basically a novel about a guy named Sisyphus, who did something bad, or seen as bad, and the Greek gods punished him by making him push a huge boulder up a hill. But every time he almost gets it to the top, the boulder rolls back down and he has to start all over again. Which is of course frustrating and pointless. Just imagine you're pushing a boulder up the hill, you're almost at the top and it rolls back down and you have to push it back up, you know. And Camus says life can seem meaningless and of course repetitive. It's just like pushing that boulder up the hill over and over. But of course, there's a twist. And there's always a twist, isn't there? Even though life might seem absurd and pointless, Camus thinks we should still find happiness and meaning in it. It's like saying, hey, even though this is kind of crazy and doesn't make sense, I'm still going to enjoy the journey. So the myth of Sisyphus is like a big fancy way of saying that even though life can seem like a never-ending cycle of meaningless tasks, we should still find joy and purpose in it. It's about finding happiness in the absurdity of life. Just like imagining that Sisyphus might be happy even though he's stuck pushing that boulder forever. So here Camus confronts the existential question of whether life is worth living in a world devoid of inherent meaning. And he famously says, there is but one truly serious philosophical problem, and that is suicide. Camus argues that the human desire for meaning clashes with the universe's indifference, resulting in a state of, well, absurdity. However, he suggests that embracing the absurd through an act of rebellion, such as the defiant determination of Sisyphus rolling his boulder, enables one to find fulfillment and purpose in the sheer act of living. One must imagine Sisyphus happy, he says, emphasizing the transformative power of embracing the absurdity of existence. Camus' exploration of the absurd mixes with his ethical framework, which rejects traditional religious and philosophical systems in favor of a morality grounded in human unity and of course empathy and in the plague which is of course another novel of his he portrays the outbreak of a disease as a metaphor for the human condition wherein individuals are confronted with the dark reality of suffering and morality through the character of a doctor Camus illustrates the ethical imperative of combating the plague not out of a sense of duty or obligation, but as an expression of human unity and compassion. As he writes in this novel, what's true of all evils in the world is true of plague as well, highlighting the transformative potential of hardships to unite humanity in a shared struggle against the absurdity of, well, existence. Moreover, Camus gets into the world of rebellion in, well, <laughs> the rebel, where he critiques nihilism while advocating for a philosophy of revolt against all forms of oppression and injustice, drawing upon historical events such as the French Revolution and the rise of one-party regimes. Camus examines the moral hardships of rebellion and the inherent tension between the individual and society, and he says, the only way to deal with with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Underscoring the existential imperative of asserting one's self and moral integrity in the face of 
well, oppression. <laughs> in his novels, particularly The Stranger and The Fool, Camus explores the theme of identity and staying true to one's self through his mysterious characters. In The Hero of the Stranger, uh, there is a person called Mirsot, who characterizes the absurd man who confronts life with indifference and detachment. His detached demeanor and existential indifference challenges social norms and moral conventions, prompting readers to question the nature of being true and the boundaries of human consciousness. In the same sense, in The Fall, the character of Clements grapples with his morals inviting readers to confront the difficulties of human nature and the returning struggle for self-understanding. Albu, Albu, Albert Camus and his philosophy offers a very profound exploration of the absurdity of human existence and of course the quest for meaning in an indifferent universe. Through his works, he, of course, invites readers to confront the existential dilemmas of life and to embrace the absurd with courage and defiance. <laughs>